Hey guys, so welcome back to another video. Um, so we're currently on Koh Tao, so it took us um, a few hours to go from Koh Samui to Koh Tao. I ended up skipping Koh Phangan, which is in between both of them, um, just because I, until like the full moon party, which isn't in for another week, I didn't think there was really much point in going there. Um, so we're currently on Koh Tao. We're gonna try and find um, a couple of like spots to be able to jump off of some rocks into the water. Apparently it's really, really like um, nice and like clear up there. So we're gonna have to rent out a motorbike. Um, I'm gonna head over there with like Jazz and then I'll show you guys um, through the GoPro, uh, kind of like a POV. So guys, just come down to the beach now and eating breakfast here with Jazz's. It's cost roughly about like 200 baht, which is like five pounds and you get like a whole breakfast, orange juice included and everything. Um, and I think next what we're gonna do is go find like a moped or something and then go find them uh, jumping spots. Because of yours. You better. This is the reason I'm, Sam's doing it. I'm not even on, I'm, uh, this is my day off today. So guys, we decided to scrap the getting the motorbike earlier and we've decided to trek to, where are we trekking to? Sam, where are we trekking to? An abandoned resort. An abandoned resort and then we're gonna go Hotel swimming. Oh yeah. Yeah, is it the south side? No, north side. East side? Not Scooby. East side is the best. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna trek over there and apparently there's some like cool snorkeling spots and we're just currently all waiting for Jazz because she's been an absolute long head. Oh. <laughs> what? Sing a song. She wants motivation. Abby, do not put this. Oh, we lost Jazz again. Jazz, come on! Okay, so we've actually made it to the top now, and then apparently now we're descending. But we've only done like 25% of the way. But we are literally in the middle of nowhere. Ooh. My head's fucking spinning. Spinning? Yeah, it's because we're out last night. So what are they called? Huh? L little mangoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how do you use it? A little bit sour, not so weak. Just give you yeah, one. Yeah, it's really clear. Yeah, there you go. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Is it good? No, it's really horrible. Completely not right at all. Oh, it's a bit bitter. Tastes like an apple. With sauce. And a bit of sugar. And maybe just, yeah, just the sugar. Look how much jungle man has got us more bananas. Bananas. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Jungle Man. What viewpoint is this called? It says we're. So we're just trying to figure out. It's, it's right here. Where we currently are. But I can't remember. It's not loading. Is that the e Never Eat? Yeah, east side. Oh, we've actually walked quite a way. <laughs> you just do the Never Eat shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. As it's unreal. It's well pretty. Just like you. Huh? I said it's well pretty, just like you. Oh. Jazz, it's unreal. It's well pretty. I just, you know what, I'm fine, I just keep falling over. Just like you. Huh? I said it's well pretty, just like you. Oh. How many times do you reckon you've fallen over? Yeah, you bastard! <laughs> Literally talking about how like you guys have just fallen overload and I've just stacked it. Oh, I'm so annoying. I'm happy now. I feel like the reason it was abandoned is because it's so hard to bloody get to. So what? I literally live next door to an abandoned caravan park. If it's anything like that, I'm just fuming. This looks quite cool though. Like, like a little abandoned villa. Like, look at that. All right, so it's taken us roughly about an hour, isn't that right? I'm not gonna lie to you, the abandoned caravan park next door to my house is sicker than this. <laughs> no, it's not, it's cool. You should see the caravan park next to my house. It's better than this. Stop being so unimpressed, Jasmine. I'm gonna absolutely love it here, it's my favourite place ever. Yeah, that's better. It's just, it's a lot of graffiti, but the sea looks quite nice. That's good wearing. It's good, it's good. Am I just like, sit here? Yeah. Yeah, it's our pants. The people here as well. Yeah. Bits? Oh no, I broke it off. Bits? Oh, That's me. Yeah. Oh, we don't condone graffiti in the channel, yeah. but it does it cool. 
So I'm about to literally go on top of the building. Oh, this place is well gone. It's actually such a shame this place is uh, just abandoned. Sam, you've definitely got ADHD. Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> Sweden, you definitely got that. I reckon I could jump over it. Oh my god! What? Oh! Spread your legs more. Give it another go. Oh yeah? Go on, Sam. Spread him. Oh, he's a big boy. Do you reckon you got it, Jazz? So I think it roughly takes you maybe like an 45 minutes to an hour. It's like a really, really steep cliff. Apparently a lot of people do it on the uh, peds, but I would not recommend it unless you're really confident doing it. Um, I'm going to go jump in the sea now, and then I'm going to show you exactly what I see. I see? Wait, what pun right that was? Uh, I'm going to show you exactly what I can see, um, and hopefully we can see some like cool fish. Uh, but then after that, I think I'm going to wrap up this video. Um, if anyone wants to do it, I'm going to add the locations in, probably like right now. Um, and then, yeah, it just takes like roughly about an hour to get here. It's definitely worth doing it because like no one else is like really here. There's probably about eight other people, and it is genuinely like the most pretty place. It looks so cool. So guys, literally just got in. I literally probably saw, I don't know if you could see it on the camera, but I saw about a pod of about 30 yellow fish, which was really cool. And then I just hovered around like this little um, kind of coral bit, because that seemed to be like where most of like the fish were. There's kind of quite a few patches where they were just like dead coral, but it genuinely is just still worth um, doing it. But I hope you guys liked the video anyway. And if you did, drop a like, drop a sub, and let me know what other sort of videos you guys want to watch. So I lied, I did the outro, but realistically we just got back up to the top of the hill and the jungle man's now currently Boating chopping up coconuts for us. Boating for like 20 and 40 bucks on that, so it's like 50p a pound. I said that earlier, I was like, I bet that is, is one. I thought it'd be a fighter chicken. See all these chickens in the background there as well. I don't know if you can see them very well, but if you live in the UK, you probably think that looks like a well skinny chicken. But in actual fact, chickens are meant to be that size. It's the fact that in the UK, um, we actually bred them to be like five times heavier than they're supposed to be. Obviously for like meat and stuff. Um, but it's a really weird concept to see over here. Fun fact. 20 baht. 20 baht for a coconut. <laughs> there you go, jungle man. Thank you. There you go. That is so good. Yeah, yeah. Jazz, you've got to get one of these, they're so nice. Try some. There's so much in there as well. What is that? It's coconut. No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just it's horrible. It's horrible. horrible? You don't like <laughs> it? <laughs> <laughs> like the honesty. You did You're just such a jungle girl. <laughs> oh, is that like a spoon? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, that's my spoon. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, are you filming? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Bugger. Do you want to see it? I'm such a vlogger now. <laughs> oh, mosquito. I'm not gonna lie, it does taste unreal. Oh, the last time I had a coconut wasn't that nice. Yeah, these are much better than the ones I've had before. Mm. They're like gooey. Gooey, creamy, and delicious. Mm. Oh. Down. Launch it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.